So we are continuing our Discord series. In the last video, we created a server, set up the channels, and set up the roles. But now that you're going to be inviting people to that server, it's time for you to think about safety. On Discord, just as much as any other platform, there's a lot of shady activity. You're going to find bots, scammers, hackers, people who are constantly trying to steal your account, which means that anyone already inside the server can be compromised at any time. Anyways, let's check out Discord safety features. So this is the server we created last time. If you haven't seen that video yet, go watch it. We're going to go up top here, click on the little arrow, and we're going to open our server settings. From there, we're going to scroll down and under moderation, we're going to see safety setup. And the first option you're going to see here is kind of new show members in channel list. Basically, it's going to create a channel on top of every other channel that you and your moderators can basically see the list of active members and filter through them. You'll be able to see their message history. You'll be able to see when they joined Discord, when they created their account, I believe. A bunch of relevant information if you're trying to suss out someone. Here it says becoming a community will automatically enable this experience for you. I guess this is one of the advantages. We are not a community yet can see it down there enable community. We will get to this eventually. So make sure you subscribe. Let's turn this on and we're going to take a look at what it looks like, even though we don't really have people in this server. So you can see there's a little separation here and under where the events appear, you will see members. And this is what that channel looks like. So it's just you and your mods. Now you might be wondering, how does Discord know who's a mod? So basically, depending on the roles you give them, let me quickly go to service settings roles and let's go to mod for example so if i go to permission here there are certain permissions that lets discord know that oh this person is a moderator permissions such as kick members ban members timeout members this is obviously something that you would give to your moderators. So Discord automatically considers them as mod, even if the role doesn't say mod. Right now, I'm the only one in this server and you can see the information that it gives you. It'll tell you which roles the people have. You can even give them some roles. There you go. So if I have all those roles, it'll show like this. It'll tell you how long they joined Discord. Usually if they join the same day, that means probably a troll or a bot or a troll bot. And it will tell you how long they've been in a server. And if you hover over it, it'll tell you the specific date, even the time. Same thing here. You can view their profile by clicking here and then you have more options. Then under signals, you'll find information about if they've been kicked before, if they've been timed out before, even stuff like unusual DM activities. My uh, old server with 3000 people, I had bots that would come in and basically DM every single member of the server. It was horrible. So I wish we had that back then. Anyways, that's the members channel. Regular members that are not mods will not be able to see this. Let's go back to server settings and security, safety setup, sorry. And here we have a verification level. Now. You can leave it to none if you absolutely trust absolutely everyone who is coming to the server. If you don't give them permissions to invite other people, for example, but usually you want to change this to at least medium because that medium must also be registered on Discord for longer than five minutes. So you really, really reduce the chances of bot activities on your server if you do that. Low is verified email address with Discord. High is longer than 10 minutes and highest is must have a verified phone on their Discord account. I'm going to set it to medium. I think that's the minimum you should go with. Here, you can require 2FA for a moderator action, so two-factor authentication. This one is good, but also bad. It's good because no one can take drastic actions without for sure having two-factor authentication. So that's like a barrier for, I don't know, someone takes over your, your Discord and it's like through a bot or through some weird hack or whatever, and their account doesn't have two-factor authentication, boom. Or maybe you accidentally modded someone, right? You messed up your roles, they somehow got the role, and boom, they don't have two-factor authentication. They can't do anything to the server. That means that they can't ban people. They can't mass ban people. They can't do anything like that. It's also bad if you have mods that don't have two-factor authentication <laughs> because that means that your mods are going to be blocked if they're trying to do something. So the actions are ban, kick, timeout members, delete messages. So me personally in my server, I wouldn't turn that on. Explicit image filter. So that would be applicable mostly if you have like a community server where people are coming that you really don't know, or maybe your rules are not clear, or maybe, you know, one day someone decides to be a jerk, right? And post gore, for example. In this case, you would want to click change and basically filter messages from all members or filter messages from server members without a role. Now, the way we set up our server in that previous video, people who don't have a role can basically do nothing already. So we're good. If it's close friends, you can probably trust them. If they're not close friends, boom, turn this on. And then finally, we have pretty much the most important. It's like a raid alert. You'll get a notification both on your computer, but also on your phone if there's unusual activity happening in your server. Now this is automated. It's basically unusual activity. Like there's more people joining than normal, like a lot more. 
there's more people messaging than normal. Maybe, you know, a group decided to raid your server and just spam obscenities or whatever. In this case, you and also your mods, I believe, will get uh, a notification and they can take action really fast. Cool thing is that you can even set up a channel for those notifications. Now, we actually thought of that. We made a channel called Logs where we want our bots or just Discord to log any action taken in the server. I'm going to pick here and we're going to turn on activity alerts. So those are the main things you want to set up for security. If I go right underneath it, I'm going to find auto mod. And this is basically Discord's integrated bot, I would say, that is here to keep your server safe. We, for example, have a list of content that we can filter. Spam is pretty important. You can click setup, and then you can configure it. For example, if someone is spamming roles, if someone is just adding everyone, at everyone, at everyone, at everyone, sending notifications to all the members, you can set a limit before the server is like, hey, stop. But we're smart. The way we set up the server, this is not going to happen because most people don't even have the permission to add everyone, just in case. Now, in case spam happens, you can choose a response. What do you want it to do? block the message. You can even show a custom message You can even put a funny one like this. You can make it send an alert, basically a message in a specific channel with whatever the person was spamming. Just to let you know, we have our log channel, for example, we can use it for that. And we can also time out the member. You spamming, you're getting timed out for 60 seconds. Good way to prevent people from spamming. Don't abuse this. I, I had a bot that was very strict in my last server and uh, people couldn't wish me happy birthday in full caps because it would time them out. <laughs> so everything, there was a big announcement and people were hyped and they were just putting a couple of emojis. <laughs> my bot was like super mad. So don't do that. Don't do that. Try, try to find the right balance. Third option here is that you can allow certain roles to spam stuff. If you have some VIPs, for example, scroll all the way down, you'll find roles. Boom. VIPs can spam. They're cool. Then we have block suspected spam content. That is, you know, if people are going server to server and posting links. Oh, free Steam games. Oh, free Discord Nitro is a big one. So if message is suspected to be spam, choose a response. Block the message. You can also send an alert. You can pick roles that are not subject to this. Block commonly flagged words. Support for English only. So here you click setup and basically it'll know, you know, severe profanity is a no-no. Insult and slurs is a no-no. Sexual content is a no-no. It depends on your server, okay? Do whatever you want. Then here you can allow certain words. Maybe there are some words that you're okay with. The response block message, send alert and allow certain roles. Last one is block custom words can click here and then here you can put certain words. Usually this happens with time. So if someone says something and you're like, I don't want to see this in my server anymore, you can just type the word here. Now, if a specific word within context is OK, you can type kind of the context here. I guess if there's an expression with that word, for example, you can put allow words and phrases. Here you have regex patterns. So if someone is trying to still type the word, but using, you know, special characters and stuff like that, you can put your custom words in that style right here. Response is blocked message, send alert and also timeout member. And you can create exceptions for certain roles and channels. Once you're done, click save. Or it's demanding me to put the, the words. Nope, there we go. No, I don't want to. Why is it forcing me? No, I, I want to cancel. There you go. <laughs> that was weird. Audit log. This is Discord's integrated log. Usually you're the only one who's going to have access to that. So this is why we created our log channel, just in case we want a bot to display this message for our mods and stuff like that. But you can see absolutely every single change I've made in the server when I was creating it. Then finally, we have bans. This is where you will find a list of all the people who were banned, whether it was by you, your mods or your bot. And just like that, your Discord server is now safe. Or it's never 100% safe. So make sure to be careful. Always be suspicious of links, especially when they say, oh, here's Nitro for free. And once again, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the next video about Discord and other things. <laughs> but for now, go out there, stay safe, make me proud, get level, out.